It's day two of DreamHack Summer 2012. Group stage is over. Uh, I'm sitting here with Lex from Russian Team Virtus Pro. Uh, congratulations, you, you passed the group stage. Honestly, no, did, you did, did you expect that uh, yesterday when you qualified? Uh, to be honest, uh, I knew our condition because of internet perks, but uh, sometimes it's nothing because it's more about experience on the lands. In this lineup, we got two guys with a lot of experience and only one young. So yeah, I felt really confident. So <laughs> just you know, like a funny fact, uh, I really wanted to go to that group where we were playing because I wanted to meet in the first uh, if if we do really good in a group stage like we did already right now we can say it yeah as a fact uh, i wanted to meet uh, from one or one team from sis in the first stage of playoff navy or m5 so now it's navy my plan before the tournament now it's it, it's like it's working maybe not my plan my desire what about uh, the tournament yesterday the bio qualifier how how did that how do you feel that guy like was it painful was it easy how was it first time in my life dreamhack bio you know uh, system of bring your own pc is in my point of view, it's really strange in the meaning of top CS because people can play on like spaceships and sometimes it's really, it's, it's something which can uh, make influence in maybe some maps. But still, I'm so sad that there was no Israel, Annexis, Alternate, so there were a lot of mixed teams, a lot of uh, top like 5 plus from Sweden and so on. On the tournament, some top mixed teams, as we, as we thought, they lost. So, to be honest, uh, during the tournament we just met, only after the game I understood who we were playing against, like some really skilled uh, mixed team from Sweden on Nuke, and then some like average guys, and we took our spot. So nothing special. The only emotions after yesterday were finished at 2.30 a.m. You know what I talk about, uh, how to say, technical loss, you know, in playoff. <laughs> People just go somewhere and they don't come, so very, very boring. You know, wasting of so much time. Group stage today, you started with a, a very slim win against SK 16-14. Um, anything you want to mention or highlight that, that made it possible for you guys to, to win that match? My team played good, Huge did nice calls, especially in the end, because this is really something which, uh, which can uh, make you a top team. When you did nice first half, and then when the, uh, there is a huge comeback from a top team, to take some clutch rounds and just to understand what to do, to take this, you know, you, you know what I talk about, like one, two or three rounds in CS, to take them when it's like you got 13 or 14, sometimes it's like years of experience to understand how to take them. And that's why I'm happy. As we see, SK, we're not uh, in the best shape right, right now. This, for this is for sure. But still, uh, we really, we took a round for tie, and then we took last round, and it was critical. And that was uh, the fact which I was so happy. We didn't play 15-15. We didn't lose 16-14. We won 16-14. This is most important of this match, because it gave us real confidence. Not only, like, you know, online projects, no the real confidence and after that i don't know <laughs> uh, polish guys they removed first remove uh, train one of their best maps but then that's to one of their best maps and then tuscan i was like uh, smiling you know inside like okay this is cool and inferno we were confident about inferno against them so you won against the sc and also win fact uh, i've read a comment saying that people think you've been playing like you were back in the days, so to say. Uh, how do you feel uh, you guys shape right? It, Our team, me or you, uh, you as, in, as an individual. Uh, do you think you guys have been, you know, do you think you've been playing enough to, to go deep, or could you have done more? Of course, of course, uh, you can always go deep with an experience of ten years. It depends on motivation, you know, and lineup. Ten, uh, two years we were mixing with young players. I really was uh, so motivated to build something new and solid, and just step back. No, just to be a manager, a full-time manager of everything and not playing but these young Russian guys did so many <coughs> strange things you know that I was really really crazy because project investing money given the best conditions uh, my, my partner and friend uh, our head manager Anton like you know everywhere we are going and we are making everything for the players the only thing we need results and <laughs> I hope, I hope now there will be some nice top results, maybe not, you know, like victories, but still top results on this tournament on Dreamcock. We are looking so forward to, to, to show huge damage in the playoff. 
tomorrow with Navi, and then we will see what can happen. So yeah, uh, for me it's not uh, it's not difficult to train. For me it's very difficult to how to say to be a manager of all squads. Also work uh, in the project on uh, some other how to say mm, uh, directions and so on. Yes, this is the most uh, difficult for me. But when I see that I play with really uh, skilled guys, when I feel the confidence, of course. I can do it. I don't know. I can sleep four hours, but I will still be able to train and you know to show my good skill. But, uh, on this tournament, I was confident, and because of this, it's easy to play. Really, it's easy to play. You know that you can even die, but your guys they can do anything. Same for them. But with my how to say experience, of course, I understand that you need to be on the top. And then everyone see, yeah, Alexei K. <laughs> I even changed the nick, you know, because of culture. He asked me. Even uh, online and even on Scorpio, but I say no on DreamHack. If you qualify, if we qualify, I will play, uh, put Alex K. And here I did it, and right now it's it's something cool. For example, you know the fact that uh, Cool House is also Alex K. So maybe this this is what we were missing two Alex Ks in one team. Of course, I'm kidding, but it's it's funny. <laughs> Tomorrow semi-final against Navi. Uh, you've been following Navi through their success while you were not playing. What kind of team is Navi right now, you think, and what do you expect of tomorrow's game? They are my friends, I respect them very much, but right now I feel, you know, you know, uh, in, uh, in nature, when Hunter, when Hunter feels blood, you know, he becomes like even more powerful. I just understand that we are in a good condition, we are very motivated, so that's what we need. The only enemy tomorrow can be only us, ourselves, because right now, uh, okay, I don't want to say this, I, I just and I just see that we can beat Navi, and this is cool, and this is my motivation for tomorrow, as, at least for first match. I don't have anything else to ask about, so any final thanks, shout outs, anything? Uh, cheers for ashotv.org, cheers for our <laughs> really extremely solid fans from Russia of Virtus Pro, because we were losing, making so many you know mistakes, but they, they are still with us, and of course for BenQ, the the guys who believe in us, and I hope step by step we we we, we now will start to show nice results. So yeah, cheers everyone and see you tomorrow on the maps. Thanks for your time and to everyone at home, stay tuned for more interviews and content here from DreamHack Summer. Bye bye.